Chris here from Felton. I'd like to introduce to you our brand new Porsche G-Body kit based off our version two 964 system. So we have the whole kit here let out that we supply to you, the installer, all around the world to be installed in classic Porsche 911s. We also offer the same kit for the 964 as well as the G-Body. I'm gonna walk you through this kit and explain all the parts we use in it, how it comes to you and how easy this is to plug and play and install a fully reversible kit into the G-Body. Now starting off, we have the Rad Pack. So electric vehicles still need liquid cooling and we run two cooling systems, run on the motor side, which calls the inverter and motor and one on the battery side because they both like to work at different temperatures. Think of a battery like a human being, 20, 25 degrees is its perfect spot. Motor can run up to 80 degrees, maybe 100 degrees at times. But what we've done, which is really clever within this coolant system is we have our radiator for the battery system, but we also have a heat exchanger. So we can pull heat away from the motor to heat up the batteries to keep them at the optimum temperature at all times. Or we can run the radiator to cool the system down when we're doing things like CCS rapid charging, which comes for type one and type two. Now there's another radiator that sits at the front of the car, which cools the motor and back, uh, cools the motor and inverter side of things. So it gets some really good airflow. And the radiator that's in the back here, which is for the batteries, only normally gets used and the fans come on when you're CCS rapid charging, so you tend to be stationary. We supply it with all the HV cables ready to go, including the required connectors and stuff for the HVAC system. So you get a PTC system with us, and then if you want AC, you can buy an off-the-shelf aftermarket AC system to add into the car. Walking down through the kit, we have our rear battery pack. Now this system is split up into two battery packs consisting of 24 cowl modules, giving us a 61.2 kilowatt hour battery pack in total. We've split this up to try and get the weight distribution correct. Now, there's some systems out there which are great, which do 50-50 weight distribution on the Porsche. And for certain Porsche people, that's what they want. But we looked at the Porsche system differently and decided that we're making so many changes to the car that we should really try and maintain the original weight distribution so it still handles and feels like a Porsche when you drive it. Be it 60 to 80 kilos heavier overall for the whole kit, at least the overall percentage of weight distribution maintains the same. So rear battery pack has 16 modules in also has an Orion Master BMS, all of our contactors, as well as all the HV connectors for linking to the motor, to the front pack, and for the CCS connectors just here. There's even the coolant line fittings on the bottom as well. We have safety blow off valves to allow us to do uh, pressure dif differential changes, so we don't overpressurize the pack at any point. And then we have our front pack here. Now the exciting thing about our front pack is it's not just the front battery pack. Inside here, you also have your brake booster, which maintains your brake vacuum pressure. That's built inside the pack. And underneath the pack, we have our bi-directional DC, DC and AC charger under here, which is also capable of doing uh, AC out as well for 240 and 110, which is something we're gonna bring online very soon. But this is pretty simple, just drops in, picks up on original bolt holes for the fuel tank and for the lower subframe. And then you put your old fuel tank bolt piece back in underneath, which would also supply in with the kit. Moving across, we have a Tesla large drive unit. And yes, I said Tesla. We, use, we have a fully refurbished drive unit here that we refurbish in house and we fit a quaff differential to. We redo all the bearings, all the sills, so it's as new and we warrant it as a new motor. Now, the reason for this is yes, we could go and take a brand new motor off the shelf from a low volume motor manufacturer, but it would also add about 20,000 pounds to the kit. And the performance you get out of these things is phenomenal. Now, this is the only kit that we actually use, use parts on is the Porsche, but it's mainly because we need the performance and long-term reliability. These are great, but the best thing is that there's lots of Tesla specialists popping up all over the world. So if you take your Porsche into them in five, 10 years down the line, and you've had say a fault with the motor, they would know how to fix and replace these. So it's not just an EV conversion that can't then be maintained. It becomes an EV conversion that you can take to a regular service repair shop in the future, and they could also maintain that for you. Now we have our handlebars that bolt into the original gearbox points on the front of the vehicle which also contains our CCS VCU and our fuse box. So the fuses are up under there to do the whole system. We have all the harnesses needed to link all the battery packs, motors, everything together, pre-made in-house on our automated machines and our big team of wire and harness specialists that just build these by hand. And we then have things that go on the inside of the vehicle. So the touch points, the stuff that you look at every time you drive it. We have our gauge set. So it's five gauges that go in the original position of the Porsche gauges. And the exciting thing is our center gauge also has range prediction and watt hours per mile. So instead of you trying to understand well, what is state of charge, you know, what is 80%, how much range is that? This is gonna tell you how many miles or kilometers you've got left in the battery. We have a new throttle pedal, which goes in the original position, which does fly by wire. 
So we can then, using our VCU, which controls the Tesla motor, so we run the original Tesla software on the motor and we control it with our own VCU. We also have a throttle intercept in here, so we can do a couple of different performance modes. So you have a sport mode and the eco mode. We can fine tune that if necessary based on the client's requirements. And we have our direction selector, sort of a gear selector, sits in exactly the same place as the original. You basically got a forward, a neutral, and then you lift up to go into reverse. Now you can either put the rubber boot on there so you can make up a nice leather boot, which is what a lot of our customers will tend to do. And we then have our charge port. Now you've got multiple options for this. We do a version which sits it in the back of the car under the boot or under, in theory, the engine bay where it used to be in the car. Um, or if you want to, you can take this and you can mount it in the original fuel ball area, which with the type one is more than likely and more than possible. Type two is a little bit of a bigger port in the UK and Europe and Australia, so therefore we tend to mount it in the rear so it doesn't affect the fuel bolt area and we tend to put just a type two in the front at that point. Um, as you can see, every single thing is included. And if you want to get your hands on a Porsche kit, just reach out to us for our website or one of our local dealers in the country you're at.